Hey guys, Mr. Marcus here, and as you can see, we're playing some My Club. And in today's episode, we have two matches for you from Division 5 because we got promoted in the last episode, which is always good to see getting promoted. But in the first match of this episode, we go against a guy in Division 4 called Morak Harren, and well, two X's at the beginning of his name and two X's at the end. I'll never understand why people put X's at the start and the back end of their name. What are you doing? But anyway, he had a pretty decent team. He had Alexa, Jax, Martinez, Carrasco, Douglas. He had Gabby, Wanyama, and he had Matip at the back, as well as Iker Casillas in goal, and Lichsteiner at right back. So with that, of course, going into the game, we always knew it was going to be a bit more difficult to actually face off against them. So with that logic, we sort of knew that we were going to have a hard game we're going against a guy, of course, with a name with with a team name of Al Kassam. And I actually checked where he was from just to make sure that I wasn't going to be facing someone who that I knew I'd be having some lagged connections with because, you know, if they're in the Middle East, they might be a bit far away from me and stuff like that. Like, I always, it's not really an excuse, but it is sort of thing. If it does lag, then I know why, basically. So I just checked to make sure and he actually was from the Middle East, which was always interesting to see because, well, well, for the Middle East area, he wasn't directly from the Middle East, but he said he could speak Arabic on his profile, so I would assume he probably was. But in the 44th minute of the match, he actually gets an opportunity straight away and pops in with Jax Martinez after Ogbonna, for whatever reason, has a massive lapse in concentration because he's a goddamn useless piece of crap. So, yeah, in the 16th minute of the match here, sorry for the graphical glitch, there's nothing I could do about that, and Iturbi pops in back in the net past Ike Garcias after a really nice little spin. It's a really nice goal, actually, for him to score because he doesn't really score that much from open play, to be honest. But in the 39th minute of the match, he gets another opportunity of Jax Martinez, pops in the back of the net and makes it 2-1 to him going into the half time. So, I was a bit disappointed to be honest because of the fact that, well, he sort of deserved it, but he didn't really deserve it, if you know what I sort of mean. I mean, the stats sort of show, well, and I knew that the half time was coming, so I just decided just to mess about until the half time would come. But, I mean, here, like, from the stats, I mean, he sort of did deserve to be up winning because of the fact that 8 shots, 5 on target. The majority of them were not really anything which caused any trouble to... Um, Ter Steigen because of the fact that's so why I didn't really show them but in the 58th minute of the match here Sturridge just misses the ball straight away well he misses the target completely which is just ridiculous for Daniel Sturridge someone of his calibre really shouldn't be missing the target like like that to be honest but in the 56th minute of the match here Javi Martinez gets sent off for a tackle on, on uh, Jackson Martinez and Jackson Martinez didn't actually have to go off to get injur injury thing or anything like it was just ridiculous for me to get red card and I probably shouldn't have got one there because it sort of was always going to make the game a little bit more difficult for me playing with one defence midfielder but at the half time mark I'm sure I brought on Emerson Sheik for um, Yanazai because I sort of noticed that Emerson Sheik is probably is actually faster than Yanazai he's probably a little bit better than him he's rated 70, 72 in right midfield compared to Yanazai he's rated 75 or 76 but it was always good to play with someone with a little bit more pace at after the half time mark considering that you know your player is a little bit more tired in the 60th minute of the match, he gets an opportunity of Jax Martinez. It doesn't come to anything because this time Ter Steigen actually comes out and does something worthwhile. And then from that, we get an opportunity in the 61st minute of the match here to get an, a counter-attack going on with Yuana Turby down the left-hand side. Runs past a couple of players, doesn't really get past Lichsteiner, and he gets another opportunity down again down the right-hand side to try and get the ball away. But he gives the ball straight back to me, as, which is a bit unnecessary to be honest and a bit uh, weird. And Turby gets another opportunity down the left-hand side, gives it to Burnett. Burnett plays a nice through ball through to Daniel Sturridge. Sturridge gets an opportunity, gets a strike away, hits it off the post, comes to nothing. But then the guy, unfortunately, sort of hits off, <laughs> hits off the post, hits off Sturridge after he tried to clear it and it went in the back of the net. So quite fortunate there to get a 2-2 goal and then well, to get the equaliser. And then from the 70th minute, he probably should have popped in the back of the net to score there with uh, Carrasco, but sort of messed it up ever so slightly. And then in the last minutes of the match, well, the last 10 minutes of the match, he gets an opportunity down his right-hand side because Burnett was just nowhere to be found. Ogbonna's running to the middle, middle, and then Martinez was running, and I have Subotic to mark him, and Subotic was like, nah, I'm not going to mark him today. And he know he scores from a from a cross to get, well, to give him, well, would have given him a 3-2, probably win. But in the last minutes of the match, here, Daniel Sarge on the ball, gives it into Marquiso. Marquiso fortunately runs past two players, gets a strike away, and... Fortunately for me, I end up winning the game 3-2, courtesy of Marquiso scoring in the last minutes of the match. Now, personally, I don't didn't deserve to win that match at all. He sort of completely dominated and deserved to win, as you can see from the stats. He had 12 shots, 8 on target. I had 7 shots, 4 on target. For some reason, Daniel Sarge was man of the match, considering I didn't really do much. But as you see there from the ranking, he had 7-0-3 in ranking. I had 6-7-3, so ranking-wise, he was better than me. Game-wise, he was better than me, but... 
yeah so with that being said we, we went up against the next guy and the next guy was in division six this time with a team called Athel Adola well that's the guy's name and his team name was we will see in a moment Merseyside Red so he's a Liverpool fan now this is a bit ridiculous that he's in Division 6. I didn't play this guy ever in Division 6, but I, did, like, I was playing Division 9 people in Division 6 for some reason. And he had the likes of Cavani, Lavezzi, Farfan, Yaya Toure, Rakitic, Ramirez, Jordi Alba, Chiellini, Boatang, Danilo, and Iker Casillas with Lucas Podolski on the bench. So he had a pretty decent squad, and I knew that it was going to be a hard game, but this game was the most ridiculous game of football I've ever played. And for some reason, we're playing at the Burgh Stadion stadium which I am known to not win at so I always know it's going to be under pressure and I'm, I've got horrendous home form with uh, the Marcus Mafia and my club especially so really weird but a 13 pin in the match it gets played for on goal gets an opportunity of Edison Cavani he had some really weird first touch thing going on with Cavani it was all over the place whenever he, whenever he took a first touch it always went flying to the right like every single time it went flying from him when he took a touch with Cavani it was only Cavani he did this with it was the weirdest thing I've ever seen and you will see it when he actually scores the goal, like, here. Like, what is he doing there? Like, I don't know how you even do that. Because he just continuously did it every single time he got the ball. And I just could not expect it to come, like, to happen. So, like, he does it here again. Runs past um, Nevin Subotic, gets the strike away. Pops in the back of the net. For some reason, Subotic just never does his marking job properly. But, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, this game was the most ridiculous thing I've ever played. For some reason, it just would not play for me at all. At halftime, nil-nil. Um, no one to him and I had zero shots he had four shots three on target and then I got an opportunity in the 63rd minute with Viterbi hit it wide he takes one opportunity in the second half and he pops him back in the net and you'll see what I'm talking about as you see here him on the ball of Cavani plays a ball through to Lovetsy and the most ridiculous thing was is that Ogbonna could just intercept it but Ogbonna is like no I don't want to intercept it because he's just so goddamn lackadaisical it's like what the hell are you doing but anyway in the 76th minute of the match, our storage on the ball plays it into uh, Emerson's Sheik who had brought in as a substitute. He tries to get past a couple of players, doesn't come to anything, and Ramirez steals the ball of me. Now, for some reason, this guy only got like two yellow cards in this match where all he did was continuously foul me. Like, his fouls were extremely clever when he did foul me. Like, he didn't just foul me whenever he wanted to, but like, his fouls were extremely clever, like, r ridiculously clever. But as you see here in the 80th minute of the match, our Turby on the ball plays it into Daniel Sturridge. Again, Cellini was there just to intercept. And he played a long through ball straight, well, not a long through ball, but a, a clearance straight to Jack Lovett, basically into Jack Cork eventually. And then again, another opportunity with Marquise on the ball, plays it into Emerson Sheik this time. He tries to run away from two players. I try to get a shot away, and Chiellini's just there again to intercept, and then he ends up getting, well, clearing the ball again. And this time the clearance comes to Edison Cavani, and Cavani just runs away from Jack Cork, gives it to Jefferson Farfan. I go flying in with a tackle with Javi Martinez. Again, he gets the ball away from me again. For some reason, Jack Cork just goes, I'm not going to bother actually defending properly. Plays the ball into Edison Cavani, and then he scores the most ridiculous finish I've ever seen with Cavani's back to the goal, and he ends up just swiveling on the, on, the, on the spin and popping in the back of the net to give him a 2-0 lead with like eight with like two or three minutes remaining. Subotage got sent off for that foul. He hits the penalty off the crossbar with Yaya Toure, and then basically I knew that I was going to lose this game, so I didn't even bother to try to go out with dignity or anything because I knew I was going to lose. So, yeah. So basically, yeah, we lost our second game in Division 5, and I probably will see what happens in the next episode because the next episode could potentially be one of those games where, well, one of the episodes which is just really weird, and you'll probably see what I'm talking about when I make it. So, as we see here, with like two minutes remaining, he plays an R through ball straight through to Lucas Podolski. Der Steigen comes out and grabs it as you'd expect. And I then I just took my time taking the taking the kick because I knew it was the end of the game because, you know, that's how it is. So yeah, he ends up winning 2-0. Did he really deserve it? To be honest, I didn't really deserve anything from the match. I didn't really have that many opportunities. As you can sort of see from the gameplay footage and from the stats, he had nine shots, five on target. I had two shots, zero on target. So yeah. So losing the game, you end up getting like 400 points. He went up to 6.38, I went down to 6.63. And he ended up, what I ended up getting in terms of GP points, like 840. What the hell is the point of losing games? So if you have enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel for more. And catch you later.